Welcome back to the channel and today we got some new knives, new gear, and even a grail was acquired. So let's get right into it. First up we have a new one coming from Remet Knives and this is the Chameleon. And when I saw the picture of this on Instagram, I thought it was a very attractive looking knife. I'm not a huge fan of the Lightning Ando, however, this inlaid piece of titanium that they have in here, which you're not going to really be able to see it, I'll try, I had a video of it, maybe I could put it on the screen. They did a good job with it. They did a great polish on it, it's got some nice milling there. This is a titanium frame, this is the first crossbar lock I've seen from Remet Knives. Titanium backspace, so that also has the Lightning Ando on it. Hidden lanyard pin back here, reversible pocket clip, that's a milled titanium clip. That's that's just to show you how bright it can get. Hopefully that's coming across. And I like the milling pattern. Now they have them that have all the lightning anno on it, even with the inlays. Mine's got black titanium with gold anno on the side right here. Then look at that beautiful crown spine. Look at that. That that looks yummy. It's nice and soft, and even at the transition point right there. Blade steel on this one, right there on the Tang, Bowler M390, and I've tested Remet's M390 and I was very, very impressed. This thing has beautiful action, and I love that blade shape, sorry, my dog heard I was pressing the record button. A light blasted finish on it, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but whatever, I can deal with it being that I like the overall aesthetics of the blade. You can see that a swedge, that's pretty impressive too. They, they have a crown spine up here and then went lower and did a swedge on the sides to give it some added flair there. You got a fuller on both sides, decently thin behind the edge. You can look right here where my finger is. Watch this action. Very nice. And you can see those three little dots. This is an adjustable crossbar lock, as you can see right there. It's basically a clutch lock. It's on the middle setting right now, and it's super smooth. It I can I can make it come out, but it's out of bench bench made strength. I was like, well, let me see how good they do the the crossbar lock. When I say I cannot make any up and down, and all my bench mates, I can make them kind of slide a little bit up and down. It's not going to fail on me, but you know that's pretty impressive. No side to side, comfortable. So yeah. This one right here on Amazon goes for $195, but don't freak out at that price. I have a code, I'll pop it up on the screen right here. That'll give you 15% off, and then once you click my link and pull up the knife, you will also see a $20 off coupon. So this one, will it'll end up being around $150. I think that's an outstanding, outstanding price. It's a nice full-size knife. Here is uh, the Ontario Rat 1. And here's the Rat 2. So it's in between the Rat 1 and Rat 2. What it looks like next to the PM2. So the PM2 is bigger. So I'm guessing this would be bigger too. The Hogue Ritter. Yeah. Oh, uh, don't have anything else near me. Excellent EDC size. It's not super heavy or anything. It's got just a small little liner that's inset for the crossbar lock. So I'm interested to hear y'all thoughts on this one. Speaking of Met. I've been testing this Remet Urbane, and this one has just really shocked me. You know, I, like I said, once I found out this was titanium and how they did this, how this pops off, that if you notice, you know, I have a pivot there. I just started doing the testing on this VG10 Damascus, and so far, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. It's nice and smooth. You got a flipper, front flipper, blade hole, and that hole right there for reverse flicking is comfortable. Tie, backspacer, pocket clip, desert ironwood, covers right here. This one's like 135 bucks, pretty crazy. I'll have everything that is in this video linked down in the description. Most of them are probably affiliate links, so if you wanna help support what I do here on this channel, that is one way to do so. If not, no big deal. Next one, we have the Sincut Pulse Wave. This is a brand new release for them. Kind of reminds me of like a Senkut Sashi and a Slashkin and uh, another one. <laughs> this is uh, We Knives budget budget brand. This one comes in at 45 bucks. It's a button lock, thumb stud action, flipper action. Nice and smooth, nice and snappy. You got a pretty low drop point and 
This knife right here came ridiculously sharp like every single sand cut knife I've gotten. And so far, I'm not completely done with the testing. I have, I think, one more portion of it. Man, for 45 bucks, it's amazing what you get nowadays. When I first started the knife community, $45, $50 knife, most of them were junk. But that's because I didn't know any better either. Reversible deep carry pocket clip. You can get it in different scale options. There's a micarta option. I'm guessing there may be a wood option. Not sure. Yeah, action's great. Ergo's good. You can kind of choke up. It's more of a large sharpening choil. That is the Sincut Pulse Wave 9CR 18 MOV stainless steel. I've tested it. A whole bunch of Sincut Civivi's 9CR. And there's no slouch at this price point. Next up, I said I acquired a grill, and this is a grill for me. So it all started with this knife. This is the CRKT Matanza Montosa. I'm sorry. This is a Richard Rogers design, and I love the overall profile of this knife, but the materials and the craftsmanship on this knife were kind of poo poo. 8 CR steel, so that's already a wah wah. And I had up and down lock rock that I had to fix myself. You know, now it's decent, but the steel still sucks. I love Richard Rogers designs. I think they're really clean looking. And I think uh, it was like two, maybe three years ago, I had to overpay to get this because they were sold out and they were hard to get. And that is the SLT, OEM SLT, or, you know, <laughs> Slimline Utility, I think it is. And this is a small, small, this is a smaller knife. It can almost fit in my fifth pocket. I love that milling. I love the anode, the blurple. And I got that profile I was looking for. But first, I think for what I paid for to get this on the secondary market, I don't want to use it like uh, I do most of my knives just because, I, you know, I might end up selling this one day. I still love it. So don't ask me. I'm, these aren't for sale yet. But I love it still. Carried a good bit. Well, I saw on his Instagram page that he was going to be releasing a few of his X mid OEMs at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I didn't think I would wake up, but my dog woke me up. I went walking. It was probably 6 o'clock when I went walking. I went watching TV and I had an alarm set. Got on the site. I got me one of the X mid OEMs. So it's a bigger version of this. Both of these are OEM by Best Tech, and I gotta say, Best Tech absolutely killed it. Check out the custom hardware there. I mean, it's got regular Torx. That uh, frag milling, it has that cut, it, like, I saw, I've handled his customs at Blade Show, and, you know, they they look so much like the customs. Tie backspacer. The mill clip, it functions great. It doesn't look the best with the design, but I know a lot of people didn't like this one. I kinda liked it. It functioned really well for me. Um, I don't know. What do y'all think about the pot clip? Now, the action on, on this one is way better than this one, I'm sure, because it's just got a bigger blade. This one rockets out. Unfortunately, it's got a blasted blade, M390 blade. The window on this one is a lot better, too, I guess, because it's a bigger knife. So, it's still smaller than the, the Montosa or whatever it is. It's, uh, I think, seven inches overall. I mean, they come in at 300 bucks, so not cheap. I literally sold recently to one of my friends, um, or actually three friends. I sold about 10 knives, and that's the only reason I was able to afford this at this time. So we got those, and my wife had heard me talking about it, and I told her how, I'm, you know, I told her I was setting my alarm, and I wanted to get this knife so bad. It's been a knife that I've I've hunted for a while as far as whenever this one happened and then um, this one you know he, he announced these recently and ever since I had this one I've been on the hunt for something like this well she heard that and she without me knowing set her alarm and got me this one so they're I'm, I'm glad she did because they're different so this one you know, of course, has the bluish, she called it, I think, stonewashed uh, anode blade with a blasted, like a bead blasted finish. This one called it bronze-ish. It's like got like the blackish bronze 
Anno, and the clips also Anno with the black hardware. And this one has like a dark stone wash blade. I think this one looks awesome. Which one do y'all like better? Let me show you side by side. So I didn't even know, because like I said, I, I put it in my cart, hurried up and checked out because I didn't know how many he had and how fast they were going to go. I was hoping, being that it was so early in the morning, there wouldn't be as many people on the site. They lasted for a while. You know, if you if you picked up one, let me know. Um, I know I went back and checked, I think the next day, I think it was, and there was still one variation available. They're not available right now, but he does them in drops, I think. Kind of like he did on this one. If you got one of these, you know how hard these were to get at one point. <laughs> and I don't know if he will be making these anymore. So definitely interested to hear y'all thoughts on this one. And I know the people who wouldn't pay $300 for this, I get it. But to me, it, it's something I like. So that's why I have it. And we don't have to like the same things. So voila, I got two of my grails. I eventually may get rid of one, but... Right now, I'm enjoying both of them. We got a new flashlight, and it's my brightest flashlight in the collection. In my first time working with this company, we got a new Wuben flashlight. This is the Lightook. What is it? Lightook? Lightook? X1. Comes with this massive sheath. This thing's a brick. But, check this thing out. It's pretty weighty. Aluminum, everything's got... Uh, I think there's a Torx everywhere. It's got an onboard fan. Where can you see it? Yeah, I don't know if you can actually see it in there, but there's a fan in there to keep it cool. Might be that one right there. Check that out. This thing puts out a whopping 12,000 lumens. I cannot wait to do some beam shots tonight. Check that out. It's got a click button here. It's got a 4,800 milliamp hour battery. So. I don't know if y'all enjoy flashlight content, but I have three flashlight videos that will be coming in the near future. I'm thinking that I'm going to post my flashlight content on Sundays. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that. So I hope y'all will at least give it a chance. I try to put out quality content no matter what it is. You know, I'm not, not the best at it, but I, I will always be honest with y'all. And let me know what y'all think about the new gear. Anything that is available, I will have it linked down in the description. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask me down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. I hope everybody is having an absolute, absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Wah, <laughs>